Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video uh, in this Django tutorial series. And uh, we left off by creating dynamic URL routing over here. And this is going to be a totally different video. We are going to focus more on the designing in this video. And we want to take a look at the backend and stuff for right now. So by the design, I mean make it more attractive, make it look more beautiful. and I'm not gonna go ahead and explain everything that I'm doing on the front end and uh, since I'm gonna be using Bootstrap I'm gonna be copying a lot of codes so okay let's get started with the Bootstrap 4 we are gonna be using Bootstrap 4 so you can simply copy and paste the CSS or JavaScript and then, but we are going to use the starter template we'll copy it and in base.html we'll get rid of this and paste it so in the title, let's say movie review. And in the heading, we'll say welcome to the website or something. And we'll have our, our blog content and end block. So, okay, let's take a look at it. As you can see, the font and the style has been changed the way the link displays has been changed is because it's loaded from bootstrap 4 and okay so let's give it a navigation bar so let's search for nav bar sorry yeah and we're just gonna copy this one and it goes in base.html just after the body tag has been declared so as you can see there's our navigation bar there's this search field so we'll just tweak it a little bit we'll just say bz dark navbar dark and we'll make the text white okay as you can see it looks pretty good so for the movies i was planning to show it like cards like one two three one two three each of those like that so let's try to do that the movies are displayed from index.html let's get rid of these and then we'll create a container a row inside a row we'll create a okay before that let's create a card or we'll say div.card div.card body and then we'll create a row We'll create a row and then we'll create a div dot call md4 so after that we will keep this inside a loop because we want to create three of those movies will do n4 and then we'll give the we'll create another card we'll say card body and we'll say heading three dot text center and we'll give the name of the movie so it's going to be movie dot name so let's see how it works out and as you can see it looks pretty good than what we had before so here's the dark knight here's the jojo rabbit and let's just go ahead and add one more movie from the admin panel and we'll say okay whatever 1917 I'm just going to give my name because I really don't remember who made it. Let's say Vivek, blah, blah, blah. There it goes. We'll give 10 for right now. And let's go see the website. And as you can see, it has added three movies. And it, and it looks pretty good. So, okay, after that, we can add this over here. And then we can say movie dot release date or we can do it text center as well so class text center and it doesn't work so we need it inside text center and then let's see it yep it looks pretty better and then yeah so we'll create like a read more link and we'll say okay it doesn't have to be text center we'll just give it a and it's gonna go to our dynamic URL like I told you before it's gonna be URL name of the app 
the name of the view that we are going to be getting and the parameter that is d movie.id and then we'll give it a read more so when you click on this one you you go to this one Joe's a rabbit you you go to Joe's a rabbit 1917 you go to 1917 so uh, let's try to change the color of the background let's tweak a little bit on the body okay so we'll just give the body a background we'll just try to pick a color I was thinking all dark theme and I just wanted to check how it goes totally dark or like this okay I think that's better we'll just copy this color and then okay for the CSS part right now I'll just put it in the base.html we'll just say style let's say body and then background color is this so this is a temporary fix as you can see it's working and over here let's just push it real low a bit so it looks pretty good see the website is looking really crispy right now let's just try to take around with the color of this one as well if it works Let's try to say background is just say orange for right now and then play around with the color. Maybe like more creamy look or maybe green. How about color green? Let's see. Let's pick from this green. Okay, so does it look good? No, I don't think so. Yeah. We just go to like more creamy look like this I think this would be good and we will give this uh, card uh, ID we'll say backdrop and then we'll just give it a style and then we'll give it a background color of this and yep working pretty fine so the design looks pretty good right over here let's tweak this navigation bar a little bit we'll just say movie review or you can give whatever name you want so this is going to be home and we don't want any disable link so we'll get rid of this disable link and then we'll leave these and we need to we need a search button where we can search the movies and as far as the design goes I think this is good for the front page let's go to the read more section and as you can see it doesn't work so in the body let's give it a color white so it should work pretty good and then we'll create another content in details okay let's work with the details page and let's get rid of this and we'll again create a container dev.row or let's see what we can do over here uh, we'll just say div.card and we don't need to give this an id right now div.row div.co md will say four and we'll say div.co md eight so that sums up to uh, 12 okay so this is gonna have uh, heading 3 let's say heading 3 dot we don't need any starting on this one we'll just go over here and add it and we'll say this is movie dot name and this one will have heading 5 with movie dot description okay. okay I think I know what I did wrong over here let's reload this yeah yeah we shouldn't really do that we don't need this color white because since we're gonna be using a white background it, it's gonna show up pretty good 
So in the details, let's push it down a little. Okay. So my original plan is to put the image of the poster over here, title over here and everything. And for right now, I think it looks pretty good as far as the design goes. So in our next video, we'll I'll teach you how you can add another field in the database when you have already content in the database. And for right now, I think that's it. And until next time, thanks for watching.